Guerrero. I'm a member of the Voice of the Mountain. From time immemorial, from the time our country gained independence, we've always welcomed foreign investors. But we always have a caveat that for any company, any industry that operates in Kenya must leave at least 30% equity to develop our country. And that's the rule across the board. You go to develop country, you can't start a company unless there's that which is left for the country. Because you're using our roads, you're using our resources, so you should give back to your country. But now, with the new rule where the president said we are going to do away with 30% equity, it means we just have businesses come here, milk our resources, and then profit from our people and take everything back to themselves. So what value are they adding to our country? Nothing. It's, they're just milking our country and then we are here watching. So as the voice of the mountain, our, our people are business people. Our people are professionals. So we need to ensure that the 30% the equity is brought back so that our country can live and also we face fair competition. It doesn't make sense to have people competing with us, yet they are bringing nothing by just draining us. It affects me in two folds. One, as a leader and also as a parent. Uh, if I look at my own bill, uh, last year, a time like now, with a thousand units, I'd get 60, with a thousand bob, I'd get 68 units of electricity. That was last year, 2022. Last month, I, would get, I, was, I got 45. That is tokens. This month, the same 1,000 is giving me 39 units. So it means my cost of living has doubled, yet my income has not increased. So that means somebody has literally taken off 50%. In economics, we call it real income. So somebody was earning 20,000 last year. His net worth, his real income right now, it's 10,000. That's what you've been reduced from 20K to 10,000. So your income is half. Uh, the other thing for me, I get people knocking doors because everything is like the electricity, the fuel, unga, kila kitu, watu wetu ana chakula. Yes. As a parent, and then it's the high time. One of the agenda, the, the demonstrators were talking about and that made many people join them was the cost of living so we light now see we have the chance let it be the first top the top agenda the bipartisan committee is going to address the cost of living and somebody should not tell us about international things the price of fuel i can tell you from my economic perspective the cost of fuel we have right now, the world prices are the same, close to what was there in 2021. So the price of fuel worldwide has gone down. So with or without subsidies, the highest price that should be paid for fuel should be 120 bob. With or without subsidies. With subsidies, it should come down to around 90, 80 bob per litre. So fuel should go down. Actually, electricity should be down as we speak. Let's go, either we go back to where we were, last year or it can even be blood much lower the fuel prices have gone down the ukraine war is no longer relevant the world places have adjusted that's what we say they have adjusted they are no more we don't have escalated fuel places look let the places go down 